Up, up on your feet, make a little bit of noise. Everybody on the side, turn up three and four. Don't let me down. Jump up, wave them around, make a little bit of noise for me. Well, Motorsports and the Four White salute to you, the fans. Hope you've enjoyed the racing this weekend here at Avalon Raceway for the Australian Pro Sprint Car Championship. And the Four White salute never disappoints. Have a look at the fireworks. And the time for talk is finally finished. Because it's time to saddle up Geelong. Here we go. Go for the Australian Pro Sprint Car Championship for 2024. Smith gets a great launch. Good, you're on his inside. They run wheel to wheel down the back chute. Jake Smith pounces in turn number three. He goes to the point. They work off turn four. The first lap of 40 is led by Jake Smith. Drives the Mapunga Brains number 72 again off that high groove. His dad Colin is the crew chief on this car. His brother-in-law, Tricky, is also swinging the spanners. He's making a good fist to this start, trying to outrun a for Australian Open Sprint Car champion in Jock Goodyear, who was high points. Third is Brett Milburn. Take Frost, solid now in fourth. Fifth is Daniel Pesca. A great start from Tim Van getting it from ninth to sixth in the opening three laps. Jake Smith, is he too good too early? He's been able to maintain an advantage for the first four laps over Jock Goodyear. Jake will cruise the bottom on the inside of Andy Hibbert. He needs to be busy. You know Jock Goodyear is superb in traffic and Jake Smith. This will be a big test for the 72. Goodyear. Oh, in heavy traffic, battling tight for that third position. The Mapunga Grains, Goodyear, Warnable. Number 72 picks up the pace. Jock. When will he make his run? Will he wait for traffic? Paul Solomon just skips the infield marker there and entry to turn number one. Got a little close. Tate Frost, Danny Pesca, TVG. Josh Bucking right behind Ryan Jones. Jake Smith, he'll need to be clean here in traffic. He was at the previous run. Again, he's parked two cars between himself and that chasing pack, including Jock Goodyear and Tate Frost. Getting three tra cars right ahead of him in traffic as Frost has a big look at Jock Goodyear. The dual and Temi Hall is number 62 car is on point. Jake Smith, look at the traffic right around him in turn number four. Boy, Shane Steenholt was mighty, running from the C main all the way to make the A. And Jock Goodyear has cranked the top wing back on the 71. He sends it deep into turn number three and four. Smith continued to lead Michael Tancredi right ahead of him as Jock Goodyear has now got to the inside of Smith in the 72. Jake Smith threads the needle. Oh boy, that was close. Smith to the main straightaway. Goodyear. Oh, Joel Tate Frost gets over the 11 of Phil McCaleb and unloads a 62 and will go red. Before he can pick up the pace. And Jake Smith does now. This thing is bullet fast. There's been no secrets. He fires out of turn number two. He sends it deep into three and four. Danny Pesca looks alive at the restart. Coming after the CNA truck in number 71, a Jock Goodyear. Van Yiddingen watching in, losing a little touch, talking, losing a little touch. Josh Buckingham lost a spot to Ryan Jones. Jones was able to pickpocket him as Josh was a little out of shape in turn number two. Everybody safely back underway. That half a straightaway. As this time we're past half race distance, 19 to run for Jake Smith. Another picture perfect lap. He tagged the wall once in turn number two. And it hasn't faltered his run one little bit as he continues to pound the top. Jock Goodyear is searching the low groove. He's sniffing around in turn number four for what could be a little source of rubber down there. We saw a little wisp of it during the B main. There was a brief little bit of tractor work and he's searching for it. Danny Pesca likewise. Fourth is still Tim Van getting it from Ryan Jones. And here we go to traffic. Jake Smith, you can see it belches a flame out of the exhaust when he rolls off the gas. Does not need to get too close to the back markers. 
safely through and he swings straight back to the top and rips the lip here in Avalon Raceway. Jock could not find a way past. Jake goes back to the ledge. He's been so good upstairs. And he's right ahead of him in the two car. Danny Peska now trying to clear the 11 after Jock has done so. Van Ginnigan is hauling the mail. TVG's on the march. He's to the tail tank of Danny Peska's number 27. And it's still Ryan Jones, top five, back to Buckingham, followed by Matty Simmons. Jake Smith now needs to be decisive in traffic. This is where he could win or lose it with only two car lengths between first and second. Goodyear has the top wing crank back and he sends it out of turn two and will rip to the inside. Jake will know that he's there. They're wheel to wheel for the race lead. The Australian Pro Sprint Car Championship is head to head. They are wheel to wheel. Smith tries to rip round the outside of Loader and he does. A thundering move from Jake Smith to put himself back in charge. He knows he's got company. Goodyear, still Pesker in third, Van Ginnigan is fourth. A full head of steam out of turn two and he rips another good exit of turn two. Into three they run. This time there's ten to run. Goodyear just like that coming to pounce again. He closes to the tail of the Mahunga Grange, number 72. Mitch Smith on the outside of Jake. He runs right back to the top. Shoots down the main straight away, opens up a small but handy three or four car length advantage. Goodyear clears the 75 and he sets sail after him. Still Pesca and Van Ginnigan. They are going toe to toe, Ryan Jones in fifth. Jock Goodyear is not going away. Look at Van Ginnigan go by for third. Gets by Pesca. Tim Van Ginnigan running the wheels off the 44. What a great weekend for he and the team. Jake Smith is continuing to pepper the top. How long has he got? Can he run the distance up there? Will somebody find something else? Goodyear is closing again. The 72 works off turn number two. Trying to swing to the inside. A little indecisive that time. There's five to run on the main straight. Jake Smith runs the wheels off that 72 in turn two again. And clears the 29 of Tancredi. Goodyear trying to park the 71 on the inside. He knows the laps are ticking by. Four to run. Still Van getting in his third. Fourth is Ryan Jones. Fifth is Daniel Pesca. Everybody watching the race for the lead. There'll be three to run. And Goodyear has found something on the bottom. He closes within a car length. Smith will not know it's there. Here comes the CNH truck in number 71. Jake rolls the bottom this time. Could be a decisive move in the outcome of the Australian Pro Sprint Car Championship for 2024. Jake Smith down the back shoot. Jock Goodyear in hot pursuit. Look at the 71 run. The white flag is out. There is one lap to run in the Australian Pro Sprint Car Championship here in Avalon Raceway. And Jock Goodyear throws caution to the wind and puts a move on. Jake Smith, can he return server with Jock Goodyear win? The 71 car of Jock Goodyear steals it on the last lap. Oh my! Jake Smith was home in position number two. Tim Van Ginnigan in position number three. Ryan Jones for fourth. Oh my! Are you kidding me? On the last lap. Come on, Geelong, make some noise. And the 71, he was your high points man and your pole sitter for Jock Goodja. What an unbelievable event. Hope you all enjoyed it, folks. We've enjoyed bringing it to you on behalf of all of the team here at Avalon Raceway. Dirt X Industries, been an absolute privilege. So just waiting to get jock sorted here in the 71 or the new Australia one so now he's wrapped up an Australian Formula 500 championship he touched on this a little bit earlier on with the wing there's nothing left for him to win 
And what a way to win it on the last lap on a brilliant racetrack. <laughs> oh, and that's all it's got left. <laughs> Jake, Jeff, Jeff, Jake. Man, if it was only 39 laps long, Jake, what a race you put in, mate. Well done. Oh, if I didn't laugh, I'd cry. Um, yeah, a couple of shitty laps there on my part cost us. But anyway, we'll... Uh, Nothing to be ashamed about. Pump for the boys and, uh, yeah, good weekend all around. I'm, I dare not rub salt into the wound, but you had a mighty race car. You put a straightaway on him every time at a restart. You were superb in traffic. I felt like you saw the rubber and you grabbed it down there with three to go and that was all she wrote, but he just does not quit, that kid. Nah, that's why he's uh, number one twice in a year now. Um, yeah, credit to him. Um, yeah, I'm just happy to run side by side and... Um, yeah, happy with all the boys. Uh, the old boy made a rocket just then, and um, yeah, we'll drink on the night. He did. Uh, did you leave your late? Uh, you run just any later, you would have been cooked. You know that, don't you? He uh, he ro drove the wheels off that seventy-two. Yeah, um, I'll give it to him. He drove a hell of a race, man. He did not make many mistakes, and he was bloody good in lap traffic. I'll give that to him. And you know, I I got to him, and then he'd just put another lapper between us, and. I just sort of started to sniff the robber there out of three and I just knew I needed to sort of get anything. But then he, he sort of shot down there and took my wing off me one time, which sort of stuffed me. But yeah, I started looking at the count on the board and I just realized I had four laps. And that's how I thought I got to go right now. And, and yeah, yeah, I, I, I hate being in the same position he's been in. I've been done last lap too, man. It sucks. And, um, you know, it, I think it definitely makes you a stronger person and a stronger racer. So I'm sure they'll fight back and come back what they, um, you know, they showed really good speed. So yeah, just a hats off, obviously, to Jermaine Ramsey. Um, you know, we put this thing together and Hayden worked real hard. Um, all them guys, Jermaine's guys, they're working real hard and um, I just couldn't be more thankful to jump in a fast race car like this. And, um, yeah, sorry about the donuts, guys, but um, she was a little bit tired and didn't really want to do much for me. But, yeah, you know, if I wanted to, if I could, I would have burned it down. But, yeah, the motor was a little bit tired. I was a little surprised, too. You took so long to get going in the first 15 and then even 20 laps. Is that a fair assessment, or did you have nothing left, or were you pacing yourself? What was the mindset, mate? What was the feeling? Uh, I don't really know. Like, I just sort of I lost the start, and I was just trying to find a rhythm, and the car was pretty free, and I, could, I was just trying to find a happy medium spot with that wing. I felt real snug and up in one and two, and then felt real free in three and four, so I really... I was jolting around with that wing ram a fair way through that thing and, you know, sort of found a happy medium there towards the end. And, yeah, um, yeah, that's uh, cool. You know, we've won a 410 and 360 title first attempt. So just a hats off, obviously, to Bain. He builds a, you know, a real fast race car at the end of the day. You know, anyone that jumps in this thing goes to the front. And, um, yeah, without him, I wouldn't be in this position.